Question number three is about complex numbers. We have to perform some basic operations on complex numbers. It's basically adding, subtracting, and multiplying. Look, here it's very simple. It's just to add what happens. Make sure you realize that I and the number cannot be added up together. This is a complex number in the sense there is a real part and an imaginary part. This I part is imaginary, whereas the number is the real part. This together is called complex number, but whenever you solve, the real part is solved with real part, whereas the imaginary with imaginary part. Now, so how do you solve it up? So distributive property, it's plus, so it doesn't matter. This is all uh, same signs itself. Here, six plus four will be done separately, and the i parts will be done separately as well. i minus pi i. So what would be the answer? It would be 10. And what is this? 10. Sorry, I forgot to write the plus sign here. This is very important. See, it's 6 plus 4 plus i minus phi i. Okay, so it's 10 plus it will be minus now because why phi minus phi i minus i will be 4i. So this would be the answer. Let's take one more problem. What about this one? Last one minus 4 plus 6 and you will have plus 2i minus 3i. Solve it up. It will be 2, 2 minus i. That's it. 1i is 2i. Now when it's minus, make sure you multiply the sign as a distributive property and both these terms becomes minus. Okay, so that's the that's it. The answers are very easy, simple answers. We have got the same answers, and again over here the same thing. It's just minus. Now, okay, this one changes. What's the change over there? It's multiplication. For multiplication, you must remember something called Foyle's method. I'm sure you all know this. First terms multiply here, and this and this. So what happens is two times three is six minus minus into plus is minus 2i plus 3i minus i times i is i squared now what is uh, this part and this part you can simplify it will be 6 minus sorry plus i that's it what is i squared we know i is equal to square root of negative 1 square both the sides i is equal to minus 1 itself Sorry, uh, I squared. Okay, I squared is minus one. Now here we have minus of minus one. So this becomes I plus one. And we have six at the left side. So add them up. It will be seven plus I. This would be the final answer. Just by FOIL method, simplification, and then solving for it. This is plus. I hope you understand this is plus sign. Okay. So if it's multiplication, very easy. Just do the FOIL method and you can see the answers. Do it by yourself and then check for the answers over here. Now the last one is the real world problem using the formula V equals CI. Find the voltage in a circuit when the current is given and the impedance is given in terms of ohms. So in impedance is the resistance. Velocity is equal to... Uh, current times resistance that's that's the thing sorry over your voltage now all you need to do is multiply c 3 minus j times i is 3 plus 2j do the foil method 3 times 3 is 9 plus 3 times 2 is 6j minus 3j and lastly minus 2j squared here simplified now what happens j now we here don't get confused j is i i equals j now j in the sense i that is root of negative one square both the sides what happens j square equals negative one so here we have nine plus six minus three is three so it's three j and lastly we have minus two times minus one so this will become plus 2, 9 plus 3j plus 2. And add them up together, it will be 11 plus 3j. This will be the final answer.
So let's check the answers quickly. 11 plus 3J. Now this is since it's mentioned voltage, it must be written V of volts. That's the end of this part. Very easy. You, there's no calculator method for this. Please make sure you be careful when you're, you know, using distributive property or any other property. And also one important thing is never, you know, when, when you're doing the FOIL method, never miss out this plus and minus sign. Because sometimes students tend to forget this when they do multiplication. Okay, three times three plus over here. And they might forget this minus sign. They might write plus or sometimes they forget the sign altogether and they multiply it. So this is an important thing in FOIL method when you're multiplying. If it's adding and subtracting, it's very, very straightforward and easy. Just be careful when you're multiplying the imaginary, uh, sorry, the complex numbers.